Hi guys, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. How many books have you read in January and how many books have you planned for February? Well, tell me about yourself in comments. Until then, watch me talk non-stop about my January wrap-up and let me decide my February TVR. This is Mansi Singh from Readers and Creators. So this video is divided into two parts that is January wrap up and February TBR and I have included only four books in January TBR but I got to complete six books in January so it's a good thing and um, my year started off with a good note because I read seriously great books in the first month of the year and I'm so glad although I have to DNF one book but we can just ignore that right. So without any further delay, let's dive into our video. First book that I read in January was They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera and it's a young adult. And I have talked a lot about this in my January TBR video and I have written a lot about it on my Instagram handle. Follow it. And I love this book. This is about two teenagers and it's strong and resilient and the writing was great and I just love this book. You go read it and break your heart, but you will love it. Second is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, which is an autobiography and biography. And it's an awesome book. I mean, awesome. Seriously awesome. I have been DMing many of my friends on Bookstagram and saying that, did you read it? No, go read it now. I just love this book. This is funny. This is practical, or obviously, because it's a non-fiction. This is filled with faith and hope. And most importantly, I got to know a lot about South Africa. Really, a lot, which I was totally unaware of. Like, we uh, know racism as something black and white. That is racism, right? But there's a lot more in it. It's a vast thing. And I got to know a bit from this book. So, I am seriously grateful for reading this book and it it has been on my shelf from past one year and i was thinking why i didn't read you um, have you seen those those memes where a crocodile is crying and a book is placed and totally off the subject well this book is great just read it the bonding of Trevor noah and his mother it's seriously awesome it's funny and it's a different sort of bonding between a mother and son. I love this book. I laughed so much while reading this. And it is a great book. What else? I can say just go and read it. Go and read it. Go and read it. Next is Aimless in Banaras by Bishwanath Ghosh. Which is a travelogue. And I had to DNF this book. Well, as you can see, this is about Banaras. And I was expecting something which I already don't know about Banaras. You expect that from travelogs, right? I have never been to Banaras, but I have watched some documentaries and uh, in travel channels and etc. And I got to know a bit about Banaras through them like Ghats and Rishi Munis and Naga Baba and all that. And there was nothing more than that in this book. Like book, it's a book. I am reading it. I am expecting something to come out of it. But I was not getting it. I have read his tra travelogues about Kolkata and Chennai. And those were great. Seriously great. But this book disappointed me. I don't know whether it would work for you or not. But uh, I couldn't just finish it. Next is Prelude to a Ride by Annie Zeddy. And this was long listed for JCB Prize in 2020. And I love this book. This is a pretty book. As you can see and yeah there were so many characters that it got a bit confusing but as the story moves on it got really sorted out like there was these tangles and it got un untangled by the end and it's a good book and it's a book which I think our generation right now in India should read everyone because there are some things which is, yeah, this is story is fictional, yeah, but some things are there which need to be realized by our generation and need to be implemented in our hearts. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think some people can get it. This is about uh, two families of a Hindu and Muslim and three generations in respective families. 
and just how their lives changed prior to a violence like the violence has not occurred yet but their lives have changed with that fear and with that predictions and assumptions what could happen when the violence arrives so this book is good i gave it 4 out of 5 next is under tow by janvi barua which i finished 4 uh, days earlier i think and uh, it's a good book on instagram two girls i'm friends with talked a lot about this book and they have their just filled up their caption limit then talked about and comment and it's so great that you can't just skip that thing i got this book as a gift and i read this and yeah when you have so much expectations from book they don't work out for you I, this happens with me a lot because i think i expect a lot so this book is great it's about that assam uslr union student league and all that and uh, about these pages about more than half the book i was like yeah it's a so so story it's a average story average language average writing style everything average and in the last 5 to 10 pages it got me yeah i loved it seriously how a story can just roll everything and take you to a totally different path in last 10 pages this book can prove that to you and i loved it yeah but uh, this is also a four star for me and the last is the god of small things by arundhati roy and wow i love this book i seriously 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 love this book it's so strong so strong the writing is wow seriously the literature the writing style and arundhati roy she got me and i was just thinking why i haven't read this book in all those years it's it's awesome this book has touched many topics many topics like politics like uh, culture like casteism like uh, south indian culture and mother daughter twins and family and widow and women and shavanism and many things and it came right back at love and just break you it's heartbreaking heartbreaking in a way that you will read uh, almost all the pages and you will be like okay it's painful but it uh, hasn't got the power to break me and then it breaks you it just breaks you unexpectedly and uh, totally so this is a great book and i just love the writing style seriously loved it the words the metaphors the way of expressing things it's awesome If you haven't read it, because it's been a very old book. If you haven't read it, just go read it. And if you read it, you know I am getting short of words to explain what I feel for this book. And of course, this was a five star. I, I could get ten out of five. Okay, so with that, my January wrap up is done. I have read six books and uh, explored different genres. I have read fiction. I have read biography. I have read travel of half. And uh, yeah. young adult so i'm glad that i explored those uh, genres now i'm trying to explore in upcoming months too so let's move on to our february tbr so the first book is the night circus by erin morgan strain this book i included in my video 21 books i want to read in 2021 and i'm starting with this one 20 left and yeah the pretty cover and it's a fantasy and i haven't read many fantasies so i'm going to read this one as i think my first fantasy or second or third and this is a romance novel and i have heard a lot about the protagonist of this celia and i couldn't recall that name but i think after reading this book those two names will be on my tongue like ah. <laughs> next is lost by siddharth dhanwan sangvi First of all it's a pretty book like this is heart bound and this fade edges and the paper quality is so great like photo paper this book uh, it's interesting how i got this there's this avid learning they organize seminars with different authors and different activists and all that 
and I registered in that seminar to know about writing tips and uh, to learn something from the author Siddharth and uh, I got this book for free like they just delivered me a signed copy by the author oh where are you here it is so this is a anthology of essays and author is uh, known for his prose and the book is about prose this is a loss the author felt when he lost his parents his father and mother and his pet so this is deeply personal on author's part and he wrote about the loss of people in his life so i have to be prepared before reading this book but i'm gonna read this because by after attending that seminar and after hearing some quotes from the book and after hearing the author talk about why and how he wrote the book i was like oh my god i'm gonna go and pick the book and start reading it and i might start reading it tonight next is mahavi conqueror of the self by arvind bhandari and it's a spiritual book so exploring different genres and i got this book from a hatchet india and uh, this is about how we suffer and what we can do not to suffer and how can we come out from our own emotions and all that and this is about jain dharm jainism and uh, as much as i have read about hinduism and islam and christianity a bit and sikhism a bit i would love to learn about more religions that is starting with jainism so yeah let's see how this works for me last is the white tiger by arvind adiga and you know how much hyped this is this won the man's booker prize and now uh, it's also adapted into film the interesting thing is i have been seeing this book on many feeds and the cover itself is so alluring and i decided to buy this book but but the price was like took 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 so i saw i thought let, let's wait let's wait i'll read it i will read it then i read a article about its movie adaptation and i was like no now i have to read this book because i'm not going to watch any movie before reading a book so i just got this and this cover is so pretty i couldn't decide which one should i read first the night circus or the loss or mahavi because that's a spiritual book and i haven't read many books from that genre or should i start with this but you know that happens you can relate readers ye bhi padhna hai 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 ek sath padhna hai right well i will decide tonight and update it on my instagram so just go and follow Okay so that's done I have selected only four books but let's see how many I can read and, and I am having insanely busy days like there's this I wake up I do work work I sleep there's no like can I sit and breathe no get up and do this oh so tight schedule so I think I'll read four or more than four or I might not read any. So till then, keep reading, be happy, and follow me on Instagram and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And bye bye.